welcome to the Organic Adventure Show and Natural Living Reviews. Today, I want to talk with you about the earthing mat, which many of you may have heard of and you may know about from other videos I've made about earthing. I'm Cy Rodriguez and I am going to show you how an earthing mat works and I'm going to show you it in action because it's easy to understand that somebody could have a theory about something called earthing being beneficial for your health and doing something, but I'm going to actually show you what it does very specifically. And earthing just on a very basic level, it reduces inflammation in the body, it provides you with an endless supply of free electrons which work like antioxidants to reduce inflammation, and it also reduces pain in the body and it provides another a number of other health benefits. So right here I'm holding an actual earthing mat. This is a conductive mat with silver wires woven into it and it conducts the earth's energy when it is plugged into a ground. And this is a ground prong that plugs into a grounded outlet at your house or it can plug into a grounding rod cord that looks something like this that is plugged into the ground. This is the part of the apparatus that plugs into the ground, literally into the earth, and this is where you would plug it in if you didn't have a grounded outlet in your house. But if you're in the United States specifically, pretty much all outlets on newer homes have them. And you can get a simple ground outlet checker to see if it's grounded. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to first of all plug this into the ground hole on an electric socket and that's the one that's not electric, the ground, just connected to the earth and I've got a splitter wire here. One of them is connected to my grounding mat and the other one is connected to a wire that is going to a voltmeter which we're going to read volts with. Okay, so you can see here I'm going to plug this in right now. Can you get a close up of this? So I'm just plugging this into the ground hole, the third prong. This is a grounded adapter for the wall outlet. Okay. Now I'm going to put this mat on the floor and I'm going to turn my voltmeter on. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to read the voltage on me with the voltmeter. So can you show right over here? Okay. You can see this is just random voltage coming through the house when I touch it. Now we're reading the volts that are on me. There's 606, 670 approximately millivolts on me right now. And I want to show you if I move closer to a lamp right here, then it goes up to 1.36 something. If I actually touch it, I'm, all, I'm going all the way up to 7 volts. And that's 7 volts of electromagnetic frequency on me that are actually going through my body as a result of being in a home that has wires in the wall and as a result about of being around electric appliances. The more the plugged in devices and the closer you are to the electrical wires in the wall, the higher your voltage is going to read. And so I'm just going to show you if I move away, so watch me as I move away, I'm still plugged in. I'm moving a little bit away from some of this equipment and you can see I'm down to 205 millivolts but I'm still not grounded because 215 millivolts represents the difference between myself and the ground. The ground would be at zero. So now I want to show you when I step on this earthing mat and I'm going to put this down here so you can actually see it when I step on it. Maybe we can get a little bit of light on it. Extra we have enough. Okay. So when I step on this mat, you can see my voltage just went down to zero. I'm at the same potential as the earth right now. I step off the mat, I'm back up to 300 and some millivolts here. I'm back up higher over here. I'm almost touching a lamp. I'm up to over one and I step back on the mat and I am back down to 18 millivolts even though I'm close to the lamp and I move a little bit away and I'm all the way down to zero which is what the ground is. So you can see we've had a little bit of 
our little guy involved in this video with us. But the bottom line is, is what I'm actually showing you is I'm actually grounding myself at the same potential as the earth and that is giving me the benefits of earthing. So grounded down to zero, which is what the ground is. Ungrounded, I'm back up to 323 millivolts. And um, this is relatively low voltage in this house compared to what a lot of places would be. And depending on where you are in the house, if you're sitting at a computer and you have a lot of appliances plugged in around you, then this is the most excellent thing to have one of these mats because it's going to take that electromagnetic frequency off you and it's going to supply you with an endless supply of free electrons which are equivalent to antioxidants, an endless reservoir of antioxidants that tops you off when you are deficient. So that is the earthing mat. It comes with a conductive cover which you can see. You can put this over it, make it more comfortable like you could either literally sleep on it um, if you have this cover over it and then use it for your feet when you're in front of the computer during the day and uh, it's going to benefit your health immensely. And there is a way you can get one of these is you can go to GroundingSheets.com and I'll show you exactly how to get the real authentic earthing mats at GroundingSheets.com and uh, you can just click on the link that's going to be somewhere around this video to find that. So thank you for watching The Organic Adventure Show and Natural Living Reviews with Cy Rodriguez and family. And you are missing a tooth because little guy accidentally broke your tooth. <laughs> just if anybody would wonder about it. Yeah, that. my tooth's missing. I got knocked out by my little guy. <laughs>